Hey, all right, so some fairly exciting news. Just bought a house. So it's not gonna take a genius to realize that she's a bit of a fixer-upper, but as far as the structure and everything goes, she's in tip-top condition. There's a few little bits and pieces that uh, I discovered with my builder on first inspection, as well as uh, myself now having lived in it for a couple of days, because today I should say is Thursday, Wednesday, the 17th, I do believe. So I've been living here since Monday, Tuesday. Monday, anyway, Monday the, whatever that was, it's not really important actually. Um, so yeah, basically right now, standing in the yard, as you can see I've got some sweet trees, a bit of shed action happening over there in the corner where I'll keep um, my supplies and shed stuff, my man stuff. Um, Hills Hoist, how good? <laughs> Guna Fortune and all that. Um, behind me, this might be your first look at the actual structure properly. Um, there it is there. Gotta admit, I do like the paint job on it. Love the color. Um, she's all still stumped, which is uh, brilliant as well. Um, let's see, well, let's just not muck around. Let's jump inside. Uh, I should also mention actually that uh, on the outside, she's got automatic sprinklers. So all of the uh, you know, water, watering of the lawn will be taken care of. As you can see, she's a pretty good lawn. Let's go inside here. Um, first room you walk into in the front door is the bathroom as well as the Laundry, so pretty standard stuff. Bit of a low set room here. We're gonna head up some stairs right in front of me now into essentially the main living area. Dining room, pretty illustrious. Look at that, it's got two seats, romantic dinners and all that. And then behind me here, you can see the lounge room, which uh, currently is well furnished, just a couch. Essentially, you're looking at me fully moved in uh, the catch is, I've only got enough furniture for one room, and that's my bedroom. Uh, and I don't really see that changing um, at all, really, actually, for the time being. All I need is my room. I don't have any housemates or roommates, so stuff them, you know? Anyway, uh, next we just walk from that room we just walked out of, front room, into the bathroom here. Let's just go in. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bathroom vibe. Uh, I'll make another video that is going to explain a little bit about um, the changes I want to make. Because, yeah, look, I mean, you know, she's not perfect. Sue me. Um, but it's awesome. It's a brilliant house. I'm in love with it, actually, at the moment, which is pretty fantastic. Um, so I'll make another video that will go through all the things I want to change. And then further videos that will explain a little bit more about, um, you know, the process and showing you those changes. Kitchen, still in the main area. Um, kitchen, pretty basic, no fridge at the moment, unfortunately, so I'm living on a bit of takeout at the moment. Um, but she's good, she's got a pantry, um, you know, stove, benches, all that kind of stuff. Got some plans for part of the room here. Moving over into the dining room. Look at that. Look at that, that is just illustrious dining potential right there. Views of the uh, lovely next door neighbor's house. Um, that's not my other neighbor's house, that is actually a beautiful house. Uh, and views as well of the uh, front lawn, which as I said, oh, it's, a bit, it's the pebbles actually. The lawn looks really good. But let's keep moving on. And uh, finally, just here in this living area, this is my room. Actually, I've got a room. Stay my room for last, actually. Um, walking into the lounge room here, I should turn the lights on, but you know, here she is, lots of carpet, got plans for that. Right in the back corner of this room is another bedroom. So it's the three bedroom house, one bathroom. Um, the actual shower area is separate to the towel, uh, toilet area. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all the information you need. It's got a bunch of aircon, which is nice. In this room here, um, look, uh, she's another room. Views of the backyard. Um, possibly the only d downside is, as you can see, Got the railway tracks just outside there, but um, there's like three trains a week or something, and they're all at pretty reasonable hours of the day. And you know, 
you're never gonna find the perfect place. Let's just say that, I'm pretty stoked about that, uh, this place as it is. Um, I don't know if I showed you the actual other bedroom as well. So we're back near the bathroom here, back behind me, by bedroom number one. Not the master bedroom, not my bedroom by any means, but uh, she's good, air conditioned, window, what more could you possibly want? Then, finally, last but not least, my room. She's huge. Walking in here, um, I've got the aircon kind of blaring at the moment. Um, might just quickly turn that one off. Um, this is it, really. Um, what more can I say? I've got all my essential furniture set up, my bed, my gaming set up. Unfortunately, at the moment, I do not have a closet or wardrobe or drawer situation here, so I've just sort of folded stuff on the ground. That should be fixed tonight. My idea was that I wanted to get this in early because this is probably not gonna come out until the 26th or so, um, when I have settlement. Because uh, at the moment I'm just early possession. You know, I'm, I don't actually have the place yet, but it's all unconditional, it all seems quite likely. So I wanted to get in now because I've got a bunch of things that I'm gonna fix that are real easy, real, even me, a pleb can fix. Uh, some bigger jobs, uh, some medium sized jobs that will require people with, um, you know, actual skills and then big jobs that will require people with real professional skills. So I wanted to get in bright and early after only living in here, sleeping in here for two nights. I've had two nights in this, in this room, sleeping just fine, sleeping like a baby, but uh, I don't have curtains. Those will be the additions, stay tuned. Um, but as I leave my room now, that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanna show you, that's my room. Oh, actually I should probably sneak around the back and show you the backyard. All right, she's starting to drizzle a little bit and I'm just walking through the side of the house now um, and into the backyard which has these two lovely big trees um, we've also got the other yeah, view of the train tracks uh, fence new fence hopefully I'll be putting in at some stage don't know where on the uh, list of priorities it is but um, that's the tracks behind me here whatever you get that on the big jobs um, this is the back of the house as well um, look it's cute. Come on, it's a cute house. It's a really cute house. Um, structurally, like I said, ace. Maybe it's got a few little bits and pieces that need touching up. Mate, got it for cheap as chips. Um, I think I'm okay to tell you that I bought it for 140 grand, um, which was a deposit of about 27 grand or something like that, which is incredible. Um, my mortgage repayments will probably be around 115 bucks um, a week, which again, I'm laughing, you know, that's cheaper than I was paying for rent. Of course, you know, rent is just a very small thing to factor in when you're buying a place. There's a lot of other expenses that come with it, but um, I'm stoked. I feel right at home here. Um, I have searched for months and I had some really good options and places I looked, thought looked really good, but this was the place that to me had um, made the most sense and uh, I'm just really over the moon to be here. And now I'm just walking back down the other side of the house. Um, just over to my right here, you'll see my neighbor's lawnmower, Noddy and ha Hammer Heart. Thank you so much. Noddy went through and um, actually mowed my lawn uh, without knowing that I'd be here so early. So um, what a legend. Good to know I've got great neighbors straight off the bat. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's the place. Um, like I said, just super stoked. I, I'm grateful, um, proud, all that kind of stuff. I've got. A lot of people, um, particularly my parents, that have helped me so much uh, to get me in the position to do this. Um, and I'm just really excited for the what's to come. Whether I'm here for you know, a year, whether I'm here for two years, three years, five years, 10 years, who knows? But um, I'm really proud of, this, uh, proud of this house and I'm excited to see what I'm gonna do with it. And I'm excited to see um, you know, what it sort of brings for the duration I own it, which could be you know, 30, 40 years. So, Thanks so much for coming along and watching. Um, thanks for, uh, if, you've, if you've supported me on the YouTube channel as well, it means a lot. Um, more videos to come. Uh, there'll be a lot more Renault style videos coming as well, which I can add to my repertoire, which is really exciting. Uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. See you later.